welcome back everybody so what we we're just talking about is actually the assigning operators so how to do this first of all simply create some new variables like I'm just doing and just type the value of it I'm just typing 5 as var1 and just typing var2 and putting 4 as var2 and obviously if I just type in a or any other text in the variable here I'm just typing var1 plus var2 okay so now you already know what will happen if I just use the echo command and I'm just going to the browser and I'm just refreshing this and now you can see that this is 9 okay the 5 and 2 is actually the old file and the old version of that file by the way this is a 9 okay it means everything is fine very well 5 plus 4 is equals to 9 but now obviously as I just said that uh, I'm just teaching you the assigning operator so here I'm just adding another thing I'm just typing ns again but right now I'm not just echoing it I'm just typing is equals to and just typing 3 okay so what is it I'm just going here and just putting the concatenation sign and just typing the br okay br now let us go to the browser but the second thing is actually I have to use the echo or the print command now I'm just going to the browser and refreshing it now this is 9 and this is 3 just why as you can see that this is 9 and if I just add 3 more to the ANS so then it should be uh, 9 11 9, 10 11 12 obviously it should be 12 but why it is not just because if I use the assigning operator this is actually called the assigning operator and by half of the sign the equal sign uh, in PHP we say it assigning operator okay so by using the assigning operator we can assign a new value which actually replaces with the previous value obviously the previous value is 9 and now the 3 is new value and the 9 has been removed in the ANS okay but right now the thing is that one thing must be understand and must be remembered that uh, PHP starts from the top so first of all PHP reads this line then this then this now here actually the page doesn't know that we are just updating the value it just shows simply the result of these variables as ANS and the result is 9 and then in line number 5 we just updated the ANS and just put the value as 3 so this is a very simple rule which you must know about it about the variables but the second thing which I just want to teach you for example instead of adding 3 no sorry instead of replacing 3 what if we just want uh, to update or actually what, what if we just want to add 3 more to the 9 it should be 12 but how the simple thing is just simply type 12 but this is not obviously this perfect thing which I just want I just want to do it I'm just deleting this okay I'm just typing a n s and pressing and space and just putting a plus and here I'm just typing 3 okay this is a method to adding any value okay the value of ANS is actually ANS plus 3 okay so I'm just simply assigning the ANS value in the ANS the mean is that what if I just type simply ANS is equals to ANS obviously this ANS value is here and actually this is not simply AS ANS this is actually 9 obviously and this is not war 1 or war 2 this is actually 5 and 4 so in this way this is 9 we are just assigning 9 to ANS not simply the ANS to ANS so I'm just going to the browser and refreshing it now this is 9 and this is 9 as well so now instead of simply assigning the same value and actually the, uh, the variable I'm just typing plus and just typing 3 or any other value which you want just go to the browser again and refresh this this is 12 this is a simple method to assign any value but we're not using the specific assigning operators for this the assigning operator to do this and obviously this is a little bit lengthy so the short thing is just simply use the assigning operator type a n s or actually here I'm just using another method here okay I'm just typing where 1 is equals to um, not var1 actually the var3 is equals to 7 okay the var2 or the var4 is equals to um, 8 okay perfect here 
the ns2 is equal to var 1 or oh sorry well, well, actually var 3 plus var 4 so now var 4 perfect and then just type a semicolon here just simply type uh, ANS uh, sorry echo and then just press any space in here I'm just typing ANS2 now first plus and then is equals to and then press any space and simply type the value this is the add and assign operator so simple by using the add and assign operator we can simply add any value without just typing multi multiple times the same variable as we did here so simply just type ns2 and add a plus and is equals to this is the add an assign operator obviously this is actually adding the 3 in the ns2 instead of replacing the old value here I'm just using the echo command and here I'm just adding the br by using the concatenation and string technique so let's just go to the browser and refresh this now this is 15 and this is 18 why this is 15 obviously just because the calculation of 7 and 8 is equal to a 15 but if we just add 3 with the 15 it is 18 now so I think you understood the simple thing about the Assigning operators, obviously there are multiple assigning operators, I'm just using the other one, echo in here. The second thing is, I'm just concatenating the value, but there it can be a problem to add directly, to concatenate directly the number. So here I'm just adding var5 and is equals to 3, okay, here just type simply the and then just type the concatenation sign and just add the br here and here ans2 minus n is equal to sign okay minus it means subtract and assign is equal to I'm just typing var5 okay so now let's just go to the browser to check this thing here refresh this in now uh oh, oh something wrong here what is it actually in, in which line oh here this should be there should be a semicolon okay perfect now just go to the browser again and now obviously this is 15 this is 18 and this is again 15 why I'm just teaching you in a perfect manner by copying this concatenation sign and pasting it or actually just copying this var5 here and actually we don't need to update the var5 obviously we can call that multiple times but here I'm just calling the var5 directly in this way and then the concatenation and br as well here just refresh it and go to the browser by refreshing now obviously this is 12 and this is 15 and what why this is 15 just because the calculation of 7 and 8 actually the the addition of 7 and 8 is equals to 15 but then we just added the var5 here which which means we are just adding 3 it means it is 18 and then we just get back the var5 it means we just get back the 3 from the ns2 so again this is 15 so in this way we got the perfect result okay there are obviously some more assigning operators so I'm just echoing this again or instead of echoing multiple times just simply press ctrl D and duplicate the old line here I'm just typing the star sign actually multiply and assign okay so now it is actually assigning the var5 var value with the multiplication to ns2 so let's just refresh this and now this is 45 okay perfect this is 45 actually we are just multiplying 3 var5 is 3 and this is 15 so 315 is 45 perfect result now I'm just echoing the other thing obviously here I can now just remember that this is not 15 right now in the line number 15 this is the 45 because here we just added uh, we just multiplied the var5 with ans2 
so this is 45 and here I'm just dividing it okay just go to the browser and refresh this and now if we just divide okay again the 15 why just simply one thing I'm just doing here by copying this simple concatenation technique let's just go to the browser and refresh this okay the problem is actually we are just simply assigning the var5 here with the ns2 and actually the com the using the conc concatenation technique we are not assigning this we are just concatenating this line with this value okay then actually the browser uh, the server actually not simply the browser okay as you know that the request sent to the server and server just sent the request to the database or the browser directly so by the way actually the server is uh, getting the information like we are just adding and assigning the both values to ns2 so that is why this thing is not working so the solution is what to do instead of adding the value here obviously th there is no the problem of this type obviously because we're not using the assigning and adding operator so here before the ns2 after this uh, line number 12 and before this line number 13 command here I'm just adding the same thing the concatenation time assign after the value now and the BR okay now let's just cut it or actually just simply delete the point here just add this thing and put the point it means the period or the concatenation sign in here do the same things all the area so now just delete go to the browser and refresh this and now I'm getting the intro as well so now the thing is that as you can understand that what happens here this is 45 and now here we just dividing the 45 with 3 obviously the value is 15 if you just know the division formulas or actually you know about the mathematics then you can easily understand this the next thing is actually I'm just using the modulus sign here okay modulus actually I'm just getting the modulus value and assigning as well so let's just refresh this and now this is 0 okay this is the modulus value in all these things or actually the simply assigning operators the new thing and the last thing is actually if I just echo the value again here by adding the same BR thing because if, if, if I just don't use the BR then it can be here in the line number 16 in the browser actually so here I'm just typing the ANS to actually I'm just watching the final result of ANS here just go to the browser and refresh it and the value of ANS is 0 now I hope you understood and still we have the opportunity to update the value of ANS how we can do this we can simply add another value I'm just typing 5 here and just refresh this and go to the browser and now refresh and now this is 5 okay the value of ANS is 5 and all this happens just because we are just using the assigning and oper assigning operators adding and assigning and um, uh, subtracting and assigning and etc so guys I hope you understood about the signing operators we will learn some more things in the next class stay tuned and goodbye